Hello everyone, this is Mr. 13 Things, and we're going to today look at the, I don't know if the why or the how or whatever, but we're going to look at the question of different logarithms. Um, so different, are logarithms, so I'd have to get a marker over here, pick a green one. Okay, logarithms of different bases, log, okay, about the spelling of different bases. And what we're going to talk about is the basis that you really need to get a hold of. Of course, the first one you know is log. On your calculator, it's shown like this, but understand that in the world, log doesn't imply necessarily. Log implies base e, but we're going to talk about log base 10. We're going to talk about log base e, and we're going to talk about them log base 2. And we're going to put them in a better order now and then show you how they might and how you might learn to rot not notate them. So one would be log base 2. The next order up would be log base e. And you'll know what e is Euler's number. And the last one is log base 10. Now on your calculator very often this one is just shown as the natural log. That's what it's the natural log. Log 2 is still has to be log 2, but it's not on your typical calculator. And this, of course, is shown as log, just log. So don't get too attached to these. Realize that when you're talking about logarithms, you need to know the base. And we'll do a quick review of what a log means right now, and one of the ones that you're most probably worth uh, you're most likely to know and that is log and I'm going to continue to use the base 10 of 100 equals some value x. What does that mean? It means 10 to the to what power equals 100 and therefore the answer is x equals 2. So you can go back to the theory and we'll talk about that, but this concept of realizing that computer scientists talk in log base 2, most general scientists, and this is the most real one, is log base e, which has to do with doubling growth, not doubling like that, but doubling growth, and log base 10 is what we mostly spend time using very often uh, in layman math. It's really not um, anywhere near as important as log base e. But in a calculator, however, you only have these two. And so a really standard core problem to learn to play around with is how to use take a log problem that's expressed in one of log e or log 10 and then um, solve that problem. So I'm just going to do it this way uh, because very often we're going to look at a problem here and we're going to use a log 2 as an example. Uh, you might want to learn some problems you know the answers to before you plug things in your calculator. And so here's the problem and we'll go through the idea of the inverse of explanation is explanation e the e of exponentiation is logarithm. That's what the general concept is. So if you have the problem here 2 to the x power equals 64. Now, if you stop and think about that, that's one of the things that you learn back in elementary, how to go and double 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. And if you think about this, this should be 2 to the 6th power, and you can think about that as the case. But how would you solve it now using some of these rules? Well, what you can do to one side of the equation you can do to the other. So we're going to take the log base 2, right, of the quantity 2x equals the log base 2 of 64. That's our first step. What you can do to one side of the equation you can do to the other. Knowing that these are, I'm sorry this is wrong here, this would be a 2 to the x, right? And knowing that exponentiation and logarithms, let me see if I can cut that out here. Get that edit, cut, not bad. 
sides. So we'll go ahead and go back to the pen. So log 2 of 2 to the x kind of shows you that log and exponentiation are inverse functions. And so we have with x equals log 2 of 64. Again, you know the probably can play around with and know the exact answer, but you don't have this on your calculator. Now, how can you then use a calculator to go from log of any base to log of any other base? And that's the nice visual pattern that I have a hard time remembering. I'm going to use natural log here because in the end, this is the one that you want to gravitate to as quickly as possible, mostly because complex numbers work well with a base of E, which is Euler's number. So here's how you do it. This is going to be the same as the natural log of 64 divided by the natural log of 2. So what you're doing is you're doing the new base. This is the natural log, so we're going to sew that to the base of E, which is implied. You're going to take this one and stick it on top, and this one and stick it on bottom. We can also prove here, and we'll do that in a second, is this also the same as log base 10 of 64 divided by log base 10 of 2. Right, and in the end, if we go back here, we'll know that this is the same as 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2, which is 8, times 2, which is 16, times 2, which is 32, times 2, which is 64, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is, therefore, x equals 6. So we know the answer should be 6. And now we'll take you into the calculator and go through those. First off, I'll do them again. You see the natural log of 64 divided by the natural log of 2, thinking like a computer scientist, if you would. No, I'm sorry, not like the computer scientist, like a scientist. And you get an answer of 6. You can also do the log of 64, which is base 10, divided by the log of 2, and you also get 6. I will point out that in a computer science calculator, you would also have this concept of a log 2 there as well. When computer scientists start talking about logs, as you see at Udacity and any other number of places where they're not teaching to the lowest standard common core, but looking at some of the hard and interesting problems students are capable of doing, when they talk in computer science, talk about log, they're talking about log 2. If you're looking in science, it's going to be the natural log, which is E, Euler's number, and of course, log 10 is something we're used to the Richter scale. So let's finally review what is E. E is many, many different things, but at its students, entry-level student, it has to do with doubling growth. You can go through all kinds of exercises, but it's basically 1 plus a very small number to a very large power. So an example would be about 1 plus 1 thousandth. This is a thousand power, and you don't want to do that by hand. Of course, that's going to be approximately with 2.7181, yada, yada, yada. It's a number of different things, however. Um, E is also, this is E equals, and E is also equal to E to the 1 power is 1 over 0 factorial plus 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial plus 1 over 4 factorial. So every chance you get to go back and show students that any important number can be arrived at any by any number of means, and this Euler's number is incredibly important because the use of it as a base makes rotations as addition, in addition to translations and growth very possible. So once again, you can get the TI-83 calculator at a number of places, including the TI, it's called the TI um, SDK, Development SDK. Thanks for listening.